Hello, I'm Lee Jachung. I'm from the Vidar group of USTC. I will present the paper, Semantic Image Analogy with a Conditional Single Image GAN. This is a joint work with Shang Jue, Lu Dong, Chen Shuijin, and Zha Zhengjun. First, let's look at the task. What is semantic image analogy? Analogy is a basic reasoning process. We, as humans, employ it quite commonly, and often unconsciously, to solve problems, provide explanations, and make predictions. The image analogy task is firstly introduced by A. Hertzman, et al., in 2001. Given a pair of the unfiltered image, A, and the filtered image, A, prime, along with some additional unfiltered target image, B, synthesizing a new filtered target image, B, prime. The image analogy task aims at creating complex image filters like blurring or artistic style. Additionally, the analogy relationship also applies to the pair of an image and its semantic segmentation map. However, in this work, we consider the analogy relationship in terms of transformation. That is to say, instead of finding a fixed, location-based filter that converts numbers into textures, we aim to find an analogous transformation in the image domain that behaves like the one in the segmentation domain. This dynamic view of the analogy process enables us to manipulate the source image via changing its semantic layout. Thus, we introduce the task of semantic image analogy. Given a source image, I, and its segmentation map, P, along with another target segmentation map, P, prime, synthesizing a new image, I, prime, that matches the appearance of the source image as well as the semantic layout of the target segmentation. In practice, we can either edit the source segmentation map P or provide another image with a similar context to obtain the target segmentation map P prime. Besides the previous image analogy algorithms, generative models like GANs may serve as potential solutions to the proposed task. With a large training dataset, conditional GANs can build the mapping relationship between the class labels in segmentation maps and the corresponding appearances of instances. However, the class labels are pre-defined and the appearances of instances are determined by the training set, which thus limits the generalization capability of these models in the wild. Along the other line, recent efforts on single image GANs show the possibility to learn a generative model from the internal patch distribution of a single image. Progresses are made in several tasks, such as retargeting, super resolution, and unconditioned image generation. While these single image GANs are dataset independent and generate promising results, the semantic meaning of patches inside a single image remains less explored. To accomplish the proposed task in a generative way, we try to combine the advantages from both worlds. With a conditional single image GAN, we train a generative model that generates semantically controllable images through segmentation labels in the own context of a source image instead of external datasets. We show that a natural image is semantically self-contained and it is feasible to find the patch level semantic correspondence between a single image and its segmentation map. We propose a novel method integrating the following three essential parts. 1. A self-supervised training framework with an alternating optimization procedure and a progressive data augmentation strategy. 2. A semantic feature translation module that translates the transformation parameters from the segmentation domain to the image domain. 3. Loss terms that encourage the generated target image to be consistent with the source image and to be semantically aligned with the target segmentation map. Training GANs from a single image suffers from overfitting and memorizing. We address these problems with a self-supervised learning framework. To obtain proper supervision, we split our optimization procedure into two alternating modes, sampling and reconstruction. In the sampling mode, we apply random augmentation like flipping and rotation on I source and P source to get a pair of augmented image I AG and segmentation map P AG as the target pair in the analogy process. We increase the randomness of augmentation progressively during the training process. In the reconstruction mode, the model learns to reconstruct the source image. Specifically, P source and P AG are fed into the same encoder E SEG to extract features F source and F AG respectively. After that, the SFT module predicts the transformation parameters, gamma image, and beta image, in the image domain from extracted feature tensors F source and F AG. Finally, the generator G maps I source into I target under the guidance of gamma image and beta image. 
In the reconstruction mode, we set P source and P ag to be the same. The generator learns to reconstruct the source image. Next, we will describe the process of feature translation between the segmentation domain and the image domain with the SFT module. We assume the transformations both in the segmentation domain and the image domain is linear at the feature level. Thus, after extracting features F source and F ag from segmentation maps P source and P ag, we perform element-wise division and difference on the feature tensors and use that to approximate the transformation parameters in the segmentation domain. Then, gamma image and beta image are learned with two SFT blocks, respectively. Finally, we apply an affine transformation on the source image features to obtain the transformed image features. As the third essential part of our method, various loss terms are designed to provide supervision for our training framework. According to the task setting of semantic image analogy, the generated image I target should satisfy the following requirements. 1. Homogeneous appearance with the source image I source, and 2. Align semantic layout with the target segmentation map P target. For the appearance constraint, we introduce the patch coherence loss to measure the similarity of appearance between the generated image I target and the source image I source. It is defined as the average of lower bounds of patch distance, found by a patch level nearest neighbor search process. For the layout constraint, we use in segmentation network S to predict the segmentation map of the generated image I target. Then we calculate the cross entropy loss between the predicted segmentation map and the augmented 1 PAG. Additionally, we use the least square gone loss as the adversarial constraint and take the features from the discriminator to calculate the feature matching loss between the augmented image I AG and the generated image I target. In the reconstruction mode, we use the L1 loss to measure the reconstruction quality of the generator. With P source and P AG being the same, the segmentation features F source and F AG should be the same at every location. Thus, we enforce the transformation parameters gamma image and beta image to be 1 and 0 in the image domain. This constraint encourages minimal changes for feature tensors of I source in the generator. We call it fixed point loss since the source image is expected to be unchanged by G when the transformation in the segmentation domain is an identity mapping. We also use the least square gone loss as the adversarial constraint in the reconstruction mode. We apply the proposed semantic image analogy on images from different datasets, including Coco Stuff, ADE20K, Celeb A Mask HQ, and the web. Our task setting of semantic image analogy is closet to that of image analogies, or IA, in which the target segmentation map can be arbitrary. The other closely related work, Deep Image Analogy, or DIA, requires a pair of images as source and target. For a fair comparison with DIA, we use the segmentation map from this, paired image, as the target layout of our method and IA. To evaluate the appearance similarity of the generated image to the source image, we conduct a user study in the following way. We randomly select 10 pairs of images with the same class labels from the Coco Stuff dataset. For each pair, with one image as source and the other for providing the target layout, we transfer the source image to the layout of the other image using our method, IA and DIA. We display the results of different methods in random order and ask 20 users to rank the appearance similarity with the source image as reference. Then we calculate the average ranking of each method across all images and users. The left chart shows the superiority of the proposed method against the two competitors. To evaluate the semantic consistency of the generated images with the target segmentation map, we use a state-of-the-art segmentation model to predict the segmentation maps of generated images and then calculate pixel-wise accuracy and mean intersection over union, or mean IOU, with the target segmentation map. As shown in the right chart, the proposed method achieves the highest accuracy. As for visual quality, our method produces both natural and semantic aligned results while DIA produces unrealistic results when the source image and the target image are not semantically similar and IA tends to fill the changed instance with repeated textures. We also compare our method with the versatile single image generative model SYNGON, especially its editing application. To obtain a fair comparison with SYNGON, we only apply the copy and paste operation on the source segmentation map to produce the target segmentation map. Meanwhile, the same operation is applied to the source image to produce the edited source image. 
The Syngon editing often changes the unedited area and produces undesired textures, or simply blurs the pasted objects, without consideration of the semantic structure, which leads to a very similar version of the edited result. In contrast, our method resembles the patches from the source image according to the guidance of the target semantic layout and generates semantically meaningful regions. To compare with conditional GANs which convert segmentation maps into images leveraging an external dataset, we inference the SPADE model. While the generated results of SPADE are semantically consistent with the target segmentation, their content is limited to the training dataset and loses the appearance of the source image. Our method produces images that are faithful to the source images in terms of appearance and semantically aligned with the target segmentation maps. Our method enables semantic manipulation of images through their segmentation maps. We can either move, resize, or remove instances in the source segmentation map to obtain the target layout. Our method produces quality results with arbitrary semantic changes while the local appearance of the changed instance is well preserved. Our flexible task setting of semantic image analogy enables various applications. Thanks to the dense conditional input, we can resemble the patches inside the image with pixel level control. We show three applications of our method. Object removal. We can easily remove the undesired object by modifying the class labels in the segmentation map into the background class. Face editing. We can edit facial images by changing the shapes of face components in the segmentation map. Sketch to image synthesis. We can also use other spatial conditions like edge maps as conditional input. Our method suffers in scenarios where a relatively small object has unique fine structures. The SFT module may not be able to capture the unique appearance within the limited segmentation label. In the above case, the skier is not well reconstructed after pose change, especially the ski poles and the ski boards with fine structures. To conclude, we define the semantic image analogy task and propose a self-supervised framework that learns the semantically meaningful dense correspondences between an image and its segmentation map. As demonstrated by extensive experiments and applications, our method generates quality results with dense control of the spatial condition in the context provided by a single image, which can be hardly achieved with existing methods. Thank you for your attention and please read our paper to learn more about semantic image analogy.